Hi, I'm Jake. Uh, I'm 26 years old. I work at Pell Frischman as a civil engineer in the environment team. Um, I got into this role through university. I studied a civil and structural engineering degree at Bradford University. Uh, that lasted three years and previous to that I had four years experience as a estimator and project manager for a small company in Bradford. That sort of led me into the career path that I'm in now. Uh, it was, I really enjoyed it, I, quite, I found it quite interesting and, it, and obviously working on new projects weekly is something that really intrigues me and really pushes me to do more. My day-to-day -day tasks uh, vary. Uh, sometimes I'm doing CAD work, sometimes I'm doing calculations to water management, and then there's sometimes I'm designing flood risk and flood mitigation. They're my main tasks at the minute as uh, working on the environment team. For my role, I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy something new each day. I enjoy the fact that we get to work with so many different sectors that we do so much. Um, I quite enjoy, I'm quite sad, I like the math side of stuff. So I like the calculations and I like figuring out where something's going wrong or what we could do better or what, where we can make something more efficient. Uh, that's what I enjoy the most about my role. My short term career goals uh, to progress in and um, get my masters and then I'm looking to start chartership. Long term goals are to obviously become chartered uh, and I'm actually looking to complete a doctorate hopefully in the uh, future. Mm. Myself, firstly, you've got to get up every day even though some days you really don't want to. Uh, it sort of inspired me was more my granddad. He worked in tunnelling for 40 years and he's shown me all the way what he's been doing, the projects he's worked on. He's worked in Cairo, uh, different places in Mumbai. He's worked in Canada and that sort of got me into water management as he was tunnelling for sewers. And then from that I did my civil and structural engineering degree and decided that I wanted to come into water management in some way and ended up here. I'm not sure if it's a self thing or an external uh, motivation, so to speak. I think it's just the fact that I've always wanted to do more and always wanted to strive for more. I think it's a lot of it's from my dad. He always pushed me to do more, be it through sport, be it through school. He always was like, just keep going, you can do better. And that, that's where the motivation comes from. Study, study hard. Really, really put your everything into it. It doesn't matter if you're not the most intelligent. It doesn't matter if you're not the, the brightest of them, of them all. All that matters is if you put in the hard work, it'll pay off in the end. I overcame barriers and challenges in my career through various methods, uh, helping, getting help from other people, helping other people also seem to help because you always seem to find ways to solve your own problems by solving other people's problems. Um, and hard work, motivation, just keep going, don't quit. About my university course, I studied civil and structural engineering at Bradford Uni. Uh, I enjoyed the most was probably the uh, the tests because I, I like to test myself. I like to challenge myself mentally. Um, obviously, no one likes the pressure, but sometimes it's what you need to thrive. And uh, I just wanted to push myself more and more, and that's what I enjoyed the most. Top three skills I'd give for my job are. You need to be able to understand and take a concept of the real world. Um, I know that sounds quite large, but when you look at it in a methodical manner, you've got to understand what will happen 
and consequences and actions of what you're doing. Um, the second skill is definitely maths. You, you need maths. Without maths, you're going to struggle. And third skill, I would say communication. Communicate between your peers, between client, between um, just anyone really. It's always communication is key.